Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another very miniature pickups video, very miniature because there's only one item and then we're going to unbox that item and we're going to play on that item so it's a free parter in a way isn't it eh? Yeah, but what did I go out and get guys? Well it's an item I've been sitting on the fence about for some time because I was seeing very mixed reviews, guys. Some terrible reviews saying that uh, <laughs> it wasn't a very good product. But then I also saw some pretty all right ones. You know, yeah, they had a the few pitfalls and what have you. But, you know, there's only one way to find out for yourself, isn't it? And that's to buy one and actually take a look at it. Play on it. And blah, blah, blah. And then you will have a proper judgment on this thing. Um it's not exactly cheap either it's 59.99 guys that's a good old british pounds so yeah nearly 60 quid so what is it that i'm going on about well it's this guy's with its little handle there's this little handle there we are it is the retrocade hmm. sounds very similar to evercade but uh yeah I'm a bit dubious whether it's going to be as good as the Evercade, with it being not far from the same price structure. Uh, the one thing I will say, it's got some beautiful packaging on it, which we're going to take a look at better. But basically, it's a home arcade system. It's just a wee little box, and it has uh, 90 games pre-installed to it. So, would you like to join me as we oh, unbox it? plug it up and have a play on it guys so yeah that is the pickup side done and dusted because that's literally it isn't it so that's the first part done so yeah please join me as we unbox the the, the retro kid by the uh, retro bit guys we know retro bit can be a bit hmm. they've done some fantastic things in the past it has to be said but they've also done some stinkers or I would call them half stinkers because, um, you know, one of the possibles that I've got of theirs, half the games are bloody awesome and the other half, yeah, get the peg on your nose, they're not very good. <sighs> so yeah, I keep my fingers crossed that I'm going to enjoy this product anyway because that's what is important at the end of the day. Everybody's going to have more mileage in a thing than some, aren't they? So let's see if I'm going to end up hating this thing and having the feeling that I wasted 60 quid or I'm going to love it aren't I one or the other or I'm going to be half half I think that's what it's probably going to end up being guys but yeah please join me for the unboxing in a second right here we go guys here it is in front of us uh, I apologize now in case you hear bin wagons go by just a heads up mm, could well happen a lot of beeping and uh, swearing probably and um, yeah here we go guys Here's the little beauty here. And I'll tell you what, the box looks awesome. It really does, it looks awesome. There's a picture of the actual unit on the front there. As you can see old Mega Man there. Wicked, I mean, absolutely gorgeous layout here with the uh, arcade machines in the back there. Yeah, and what I particularly like about the front of this is you go like this, he says carefully. And that flap lifts up like that. It's Shove them over a minute so you can see the rest of the flap. There we are. Absolutely fantastic. Love that. Absolutely love it. We'll have a better look at it in a minute. Let's put that back over. Right, so let's lift him up. And uh, yeah, and try and show you a bit more. So there you go, guys. From the bottom up. There it tells you about the controllers and how they're wired. Now that is the uh, the biggest... Um, sort of like hmm, downer on this machine I've heard is that the controllers are not very good but we'll find out for ourselves so there you go with the controllers 
some other bits of information that you see over 90 popular games packed with you got Double Dragon mentioned there and Mega Man 2 and John Mack and what have you Final Fight at the top there yeah Burger Time yeah some fantastic games mentioned there there of course is the top he says pulling it back a bit so you can see it there they are fantastic certainly a very nice looking front of the box on the top guys you just got your he said oh look pulling it all out of the way look you just got a carry handle and some brand in there there we go brilliant not exactly a huge box but uh, yeah fair size there's all your different languages and the same on the other bit on the other bit even bite dearie me the back shows you more of the unit whatever so i'll show you that again there's the bottom shows you the unit gives you some info here or branding and we'll have it at the bottom and then of course as you go further down the box it tells you about the interface a bit there we are let's move it over a bit so you can see there we are and there's some of the games again and then the bottom of this thing is literally just a whopping great brand there we go whopping great brand now how do we get into this right so here let's have a look so we have a seal there and i do believe there's a seal at the bottom oh two seals at the bottom look one there and one there so you know what it's time for guys don't you and it's always time for in these unboxings it's time for the trusty dusty knife even though it let me down last time when i did the uh, super mario game and watch yeah, they were like um, hmm, the toughest seals I've ever known in my life. So here we go, guys. Trusty, dusty knife in hand. Let's have a look. So, where was that first seal again? Let's have a look. Aha, here's, as I say, one seal there. Let's see how we get into this one. It is like that, I believe, is it? Don't want to break the box guys as you know I like to keep my boxes nice so let's uh, see here what we've got going on hmm is it that way or that way this is always the thing isn't it I do believe it is this way it better be otherwise I'm cutting through the cardboard I'll take it. yes it's that way guys so that's that one done then of course at the bottom there's two but hopefully we don't have to uh, cut them let's put that knife away a minute and let's have a look shall we let's see if we need to even cut that one because here's your two flaps there and there and i'm hoping that now it will just open will it or will it or will it it appears to be yay so we don't have to cut the two seals at the bottom guys that's good brilliant so let's get this bit open. That's what you're faced with now. Okay, let's open it. Right. I'll show you what I'm seeing. A big whopping plastic tray. Always a good sign of good quality, that. But let's uh, let's be fair. Give it a chance. Right. So let's pull that out. Let's have a look. Well, hey, so yeah, there you go, guys. That's the box off. Put it inside a minute. And here's your uh, manual. Quite a thick one as well. Have all the usuals in there, I'm sure he says, coming round. I do believe I just saw some colour, did I? Oh, I did. I saw some colour, guys. Look. That's a nice touch. Yeah. All different languages, no doubt. Yeah. A big old retro card on the back. Sorry, super retro card. Because of course there was a previous one, just the retro card, which uh, got even worse reviews. But yeah, there's a, the manual, quite 
quite a yeah, thick one. Put him aside. And then what are we faced with? Mm -hmm. Here's the tray of goodness. <coughs> it says clearing his throat. Right. We'll leave that for a sec. Let's see what you get in the box. So here you've got a HDMI cord. That's good that they include that. The one thing that is not included, guys, is a power block. Once again, no power block. But of course, they think that we all have hundreds of them around the house. And quite frankly, most of us do, don't we? So yeah, there's your HDMI. Hmm, this is an interesting uh, bundle here. Of, uh, oh, right, okay. Yeah, so these are for the... Uh, Controller, aren't they? Yeah, for the two controllers, guys. So let's take one of these out and have a look at it. Oh, no, this is, uh, yeah, this is the power lead. So, yeah, you just got to put the block on. There's the end. It's one of those old fashioned ends there, a bit like the old PSP type thing. And there you go. So, yeah, you need the power block, that's all. Looks like it's a fair enough size. Right, well, let's take one of these controllers out. It is in this baggy. Hmm, yeah, they feel a bit light, the cord takes most of the weight, so that feels pretty, yeah, light, let's undo the tie there, let's have a look if I can even find it, oh, there it is, okay. I'll do it off camera a second, let's have a look, yeah, let's just use your twisty ties, guys, just like that, that side, and remove it from the bag. There we go. So yeah, that does feel pretty cheap. But it has got a couple of shoulder buttons, which is nice. You're gonna need them, aren't you? Especially for arcade games. Need as many buttons as thinking possible. There's the back. Hmm. Yeah, quite cheap feeling, I must admit. But you can use other pads, of course. Anything that has a USB on the end, of course. So yeah, there is other ways around it. You don't have to use the included ones. Although that's what I'm going to be using to test it out, of course. Right, let's take the cable tie off here and see how long they are. I can tell already that they're a pretty nice size, guys, and lead. Nice and long. You can feel that just... Here you go, cable tie off again. You can feel that already, look. So here's your pad. And yeah, they are a fantastic size. Oh my word, it gets even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, they are wicked size. So one good thing, guys, you get plenty of blinking lead. Get that dropped to the floor. So yeah, that is one bonus point already for the controllers. The leads are very long. Not so good the weight of them. All right. So we're not going to unpack that one because obviously it's just the same thing. I shall leave that as it is for now. It's only going to be me, me playing on it, so yeah. Right, let's put him aside a minute. That's just your cable for your other one there, as you can see. Now to the little unit itself. Now, how do we get him out? Let's have a look. Ooh, a bit of, uh, yeah, coaxing by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. Again, feels very, very light, like there's nothing really there. So you can imagine, it is just <laughs> practically hollow inside, apart from one little motherboard. Yeah, but, you know, it looks the biz. It certainly looks the biz there, it looks alright, very minimalistic. There's your two ports for your controllers. On top, it's just white, obviously, with the red power button here and these two that make it look a little nicer there sides are just like that that's both of them i think yeah the back oh the back even haha <laughs> there we go so different ways of hooking it up here guys even the old-fashioned way look <laughs> there the old composite there's your power the hdmi and there is the memory card slot, guys. Now, this is very interesting. 
Now they bill it as put my memory card in it and being able to save your games. Now we all know that as soon as one of these is included, if it isn't possible already, then it will be very soon possible to put your own games on here. Yeah, you with the beauty of a micro SD or an SD card, because look, it's a full size one, will be able to, I'm absolutely sure already, put your own ROMs on. So yeah, now that makes it a much more interesting beastie, doesn't it, altogether? Oh yes. There's the bottom guys, just with the old 12 yard on thing on the bottom there. Not a lot to see there really. Just that old symbol there again. Is that a symbol? Oh no! No, it's some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of uh, cover over a hull. So that is obviously their warranty thing. You break that and you will not be getting your money back, will you? Because it means you've opened it up and fiddled with it. So yeah, that's just to protect the screw underneath so they know that you've fiddled with it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, simple. How's that, guys? I think it's a nice enough looking thing. Got no weight to it. It weighs about as much as that bloody control pad, to be fair. So, yeah, fantastic. We're putting back in there for now. But yes, guys, one thing we did miss when we were looking around the old uh, box was I was going to show you says what was behind these flaps wasn't it and the flap even show you in a bit more detail so here we go packed with original arcade favorites and there really is some stunners on here guys some stunners as you can see from uh, this bit here let's move that out of the way a minute there we go see some of them here already guys can't you 1942 Mega Man 2, Burger Time, Double Dragon, yeah, there's some great ones on here, oh, Ghouls and Ghosts, R-Type 3, oh, there's some fantastic ones on here, guys, there really is, so, yeah, some fantastic, fantastic stuff on here, so, let's close that back up, put him back, right, I think there's only one thing left to do, guys, isn't there? Is to take this very lightweight controller, hook it up to this little bugger here, and we'll have our own judgment on whether this is worth 60 quid or not, eh? Back shortly, guys. Right, you lovely people. Let's turn this bugger on, shall we, and see what we get. Comes up with the logo there, Super Retro Game. Let's see what the menu looks like. Any music? Oh, music's kicking in. So, right, let's go through this, guys. Let's have a look what we've got. At the bottom, you have a filter. Confirm settings and a start game. So let's have a flick through. So there we go. First one's 1942. Ooh, 10 yard fight. 1943. Ace. Fancier. Cybernetic hyper weapon. Wow, that, that sounds bloody awesome. I know that. Air duel. We'll go down to here, Bionic Commando. Oh, there's some fantastic titles here. Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. Wow. Bad Dudes. Armored Warriors. We've got Armed Police Unit Gallop. And we have Bionic Commando Arcade. Wow. Blade Master. Boogie Wings. Boogie Popper. Burger Time. Dark Lord, Congo's Caper, Commando, Codename Viper, Captain Commando, Demon's Crest, no, Ch yeah, Crest, <laughs> I nearly said Chest, Crest. That is a fantastic game, guys, love that one. Oh, I love so many of them, I, I, I could sit here all day saying that, I'm sure. Double Dragon, 
Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. Ooh, Dragon Breed, wow. Exciting Hour, the Pro Wrestling Mon Network. Final Fight 2. Oh, here come the bin men, by the way. I do apologise. Final Fight. Fighter's History. Fighter's History. Again, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the second bit there. Mizer, Boozy, or oh, whatever. Uh, ex excess. Final Fight 3. Forgotten World. Oh, Gargoyle's Quest 2. Oh, brilliant. Ghouls and Goblins. I'm sorry, Ghosts and Goblins. Fantastic. And Go <laughs> Ghouls and Ghosts. Go oh, get it right. Jeez Louise. Holy Driver. Oh, another fantastic one. Heavy Barrel. Uh, oh, I don't recognise this one. Hammering Harry's. Mm, interesting. Hammering Harry's. Yeah, so that's Hammering Harry's arcade version. Right, so what you got here, guys, are some of the arcade versions and some are obviously, um, you know, home console versions, I presume, like NES and what have you. Gunsmoke. Um, what's that? Imagine Fight. John Mac. John Mac 2. Lost in the Tropics. John Mac Returns. Oh, you got them all here, guys. John Mac. Caveman Ninja. <laughs> wow. So you've even got the Japanese version. So you'll have the, uh, where they're knocking the girls out and dragging them by the hair bit then. Knights of the Round. Uh, Kid Nicky. Radical Ninjas 2. Kid Nicky. Radical Ninjas. Yeah, uh, Kickle Cubicle, Kingo. Oh, they just it, oh, it's just fantastic. Some of the games on here, guys. Legend of Heroes, Duma. Legendary Wings, Magical Drop. Oh, you know how much I love that game. Magical Drop Arcade. So you got both versions there again, guys. Wicked. Magical Drop Two, brilliant. Mega Twins, Mega Man Three, Mega Man Two. Mega Man and uh, Major Title Golf. Hmm, could be interesting. Uh, Mercs Arcade. Then we have Midnight Resistance. Mighty Final Fight. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say. Oh, that's fantastic. Over and over. I'll just be saying it all the time. Mister Heli. Hmm, don't know that one. Mutant Fighter. Uh, Rocky Roden. Renegade. Pirate Ship, not going to pronounce that. Ninja Spirit, Mystical Riders, R Type, oh, R Type 2, R Type 3, the third uh, Lightning, Secret Agent, Section Z, Strider, Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Sun Sun, I'm not sure about that one. Side Pocket, going to be a got to be a snooker or pool probably pool it's always pool right should just wait for those bin men to go past side arms strider arcade cool super birdie rush mm. burger time super dodgeball super goals and ghosts three wonders mm. interesting the King of Dragons. The um, Batterbees? I don't know. Super Side Pocket. Super R Type. And then we'll go back over here. What was that again? Super. Oh, some Super Combat Tribes. Right, okay. Then we've got the Thunder Blaster. Trojan. Two Crew Dudes. Operation Thunderstorm. Vigilant. Zippy Race. Hmm, interesting title. X multiple. And a wizard fire. And that is your lot, guys. But as I said, this little doozy has got an SD card. Hmm. Now of course we can't look at all the games on here, can we? But we're gonna go over 
And I, t I tell you what, at the moment, this, this control, I mean, I've only used the directional, of course, and it doesn't feel too bad at all. But we're going to go over to this one, the one I like the look of straight away. Mm, it could be a shooting up, guys, so a quick vape, and then uh, we'll have a look, shall we? Oh, we'll listen to the very fast car go past. Right, here we go. So, I presume I press A. Yeah, there we go. So, it gives you a little bit about it. I like that touch actually, it tells you the buttons. That is pretty damn cool. So, you've got load, save state, add to favourites. Oh, so you can even put it into a shortcut for favourites. That's wicked. Return to menu. Yeah, oh, that, that, I can't fault that. That is brilliant that they have this. And it tells you a little bit about it. Right, okay. Powering up the holding, blah, blah, blah. Just says, yeah, shoot them off, guys. Here we go, then. Let's play. Let's see how long it takes to kick in. It wasn't too bad, I suppose. Oh, what's it done? It's just kicked back out of it. That's not a good sign, is it? Hmm. Perhaps I pressed the wrong button. Let's have a look. No, confirm, A. Right, well, I'll press start instead then. Let's see if that makes a difference. No. I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, okay then, so you don't press the A button. It's very deceiving, that, actually. But now I know, fair enough. Oh, look at that, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. That with the controls, guys, that just shows you that I do this blindly. You know, I've never played this before. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting used to the controls without reading the manual, of course, as you know. So, 1989, eh? This is a data east one. Wicked. Okay, let's uh, start this one, shall we? How do we start? How do we start, you bugger? Right, okay, let's see. Hopefully that's it. Oh, look, I like this already. Look, oh, look at that. Oh, that is, oh, that's, that's cool looking. Wow. Can we get that ball? I don't know. Oh my God, this is fantastic looking. Oh, it's, you know how much I love these types of games, guys, as well. I love Tanza so much on the Evercade. Oh, he got me though. Oh, one hit kill. Jeez Louise. One hit kill, guys. Bear that in mind. Oh, I do like this though. This is brilliant. Oh, we've got them. We've got them yet. We've got them up there. Oh, and we're going to get them all. Oh, unfair. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to have to use a different tactic here. Just keep running, I think. And jump in as much as I can. Oh, no, there's too many of them coming. So you look, and then they come from behind you as well. Oh, bugger. No, go away. Oh, oh unfair. I was just looking actually at the uh, the configuration. It's obviously um, not on full screen, is it? I bet in the settings you can set that. But let's stop this from happening and actually playing it again. There we go. Oh, don't run out of time. Oh no, here we go. I'll tell you what, I like the buttons. I like them. They remind me of the Saturn buttons in a way, and the same kind of um, feel to them. I think it's the only way you can word it really. I think they're fine. I like them. I don't mind them at all. Oh, I'm not going to get very far here, guys, am I? Not at all. Why did I end up with just one, uh, one bullet? Uh, I like this multiple one a lot better. At least you get more targets. And then it's a power-up, so I don't really get that. How many of these are we going to have to sod and get then? Oh, hey, oh, nice one, you can fly, I didn't even realise that. So, I can fly, can I? Yay, I can fly, I didn't know. Oh, bugger, no, he's going to get me. Oh, damn it. Right, let's see how you quit, so that we can take a look at another game, shall we? Which one is this? Now, there has to be a way of quitting. Let's see. 
Do you have to restart it? No, that would be that would be terrible if you have to restart it every time. Hmm. Maybe both the shoulder buttons together. No. See, this is it, guys. Trial and error, eh? It won't even pause. Hmm. Okay, then. Right, well, we'll play one more of this in. I'm going to have to recess it, it seems. That's not very good. I don't like that. I'm going to have to recess it every time. That's really stupid, that is. Oh, I died again anyway. But yeah, no, I don't know about that. The shoot button, okay. That's it, game over. Let's see if it kicks you back to the menu then, does it? No. I don't think it does, guys. Right, looks like I'm going to have to reset it then. That is very annoying, it has to be said. I was not expecting that. I'm pressing all the buttons here, guys. It's just going to start the game again, I think. Yeah, there we go, start the game again. Yeah, right, okay then, back in a sec guys. As I reset the blinking machine, that is not very good. Right guys, here we are, back on the menu. So let's have a look at another one. Hopefully we can find a way of quitting the games without um, having to reset it every time, because that is stupid. You think if you're sitting under your TV, in your TV unit or something, and your settee's the other side of the room, you're gonna have to get up every single time to turn it off. That would just be ridiculous. And unfortunately would be a very big negative um, and up to now I've been pretty uh, yeah pretty well happy with it to be honest it's uh, it's a pretty cool little thing right let's go down find ourselves in the game here what should we go for let's have a look well let's go for that oh Congo's caper let's see what this one's like uh, oh, it's a platformer. Brilliant. There we go again with the controls and everything. I really do like that touch. That is fantastic. That they give you the controls every time. A little bit of story. Yeah, that, that is fantastic. Right. Let's see if we can actually start it, shall we? Here we go. Oh, it's a data east one again, guys. There we go. Fabulous developer. Obviously, they've done a fantastic cartridge on the Evercade. Well, it certainly looks interesting. I love the music. Wicked. Right, so you can do one or two play. Obviously, you get the two control pads, so that's great. Password, and what have you. Right, let's have a play. Hmm. Interesting intro. Oh, two balls hit him. Oh, changed them into people. There we go. Now started off as monkeys and now it's a boy and a girl. But no doubt the girl's going to get kidnapped and you have to rescue her. Because that's what always happens in these games, isn't it? Oh yeah, here comes the one to steal her away from you. Oh, and you've been turned back into a monkey. Okay then. Right. Right, first level. Right, so it's a collector fun, is it? Yay, it's a collector fun, brilliant. Oh, I like the graphics, guys, they're fantastic. Oh, how do we kill, shoot, jump, whatever? Aha, like that. There we go. Go in. Hey, nice one. I like that. Oh, and then you can break them as well. Cool. Oh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to hit him, but obviously I was. Yep. Hey. I have played this before, but a very long time ago. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. Did you hit the ground here or something? Can you not hit the ground? No, you can't break through there at the moment. No, okay then. Oh, you swine, get away. Oh, there we go, we can break them like that there. Nice one. 
Adrian can run like lunatics. How do we get up there though? Look at that. No, nope, can't get up there at the moment. Hmm. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. There's something there. Let's have a look. Can we get down there? No. Not allowed. No, we can't get down there now. How do you do it, eh? Ah, right, okay, this looks like. Come on, you. How did I do that now? Right, okay, let's try again. How did I spin like that? Oh well, guess I'm not going to find out. Not yet, anyway. It's only a quick play, anyway, so. I'm sure I will discover that later for myself. Uh huh. Oh, oh, good job it wasn't an endless fall there, to my death. Oh, this is, this is fantastic, I love the, uh, the art style again, brilliant. Yeah, this is a doozy. Oh, you swine, get off, get off you big git. Oh, you killed me. That's not fair. Where do you start? Right back at the beginning or not? No. Oh dear, eh? Look at this. Hey, oh, I managed to do it that time. Well, hey. Ah, right, okay. Do you do a double tap, is it, or something? No, I don't know. How did I do that? <laughs> I'm actually doing that control where I'm flipping it, and I don't even know how I did it in the first place. But. I'm sure I'll learn in the end. Well, hey. There we go. Ah, there's a platform from there, see? Oh, see, I did it again. No. No, oh, I'm standing on top of his head. Now we're going to get out of the way, you. Yeah. Right, so we can go down here on the lift. Yeah, get that, and then back up again. No, 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 go back down. Oh, I missed it now, look. Oh, no point going back down, it's gone. Come on, you little sod. You can get me a lot. No. Okay. I love the music. Really, really fun sounding. Right, let's keep going this way. Like, let's have a little look up here. Oh, lots of eggs. Right. There we go. Lots of jewels. Brilliant. Oh, there he is again. Look. Get right, I'll clear off. Oh, and then he gets me like that. Now. Oh, <laughs> right guys, well that was a nice little look at that platformer. But let's see if we can quit, shall we? Let's see, every which way, right, I'm gonna try again, guys, here we go. No, nothing there. Pause, no. What about if I press both? Ah, there we go, guys. Right, so what you gotta do is, if you look at the control pad here, you have got to press the start and select together and that takes you into a menu. There we go, so it's these two buttons here guys, these two here, start and select, and then you get into this menu. So return to game, load, save, state, slot, save, <laughs> save, state, slot, SD, load, save, state, slot, SD, save, state, slot. Oh my god, that is gibberish. Button mapping, game volume, restore game default, and return to menu. So yeah, there we go. So we can go down to return to menu. Is it just the A button? Yay, there we go. Oh, brilliant. So I bet you could do that in the first game as well, guys. Um, yeah, just me being an umpty. I didn't realise. Right, let's see. So we've looked now at a fantastic shoot -em up We have looked at a nice little platformer. Let's go down to one of my favourite genres, puzzle games. So I'm going to go and find... Magical Drop. Oh, should we go for Magical Drop Arcade or shall we go for... Hmm, seems sport for choice now. Magical Drop 2. Let's go for that one. There you go. There's your, uh, your buttons again. Right, let's try this thing, shall we? Data East again.
I will try and adjust the settings in one of them as well, guys, to see if we can get full screen. I love the animation on these games. Fantastic. The cutscenes, I should say. Brilliant. Right, let's play this thing, shall we? Endless mode, yeah, just go for that. Easy? Yeah, of course, it's me. It's got to be easy. Try to keep up. Mm. Right, here we go, guys. Uh, here we start. Uh, let's get them ones. Yeah, from there, that's it. Brilliant. That's hey, it. Hey, nice one. You know, magical drop. Just gather up the uh, colours and shoot them up, guys. That's it. Simple as that. Well, hey. Easier said than done, though. That is for sure. We want to get rid of that lot there, see? As quick as possible. Yeah, there we are. Oh. Way brilliant. Oh, you sod. Yeah, it's the usual magical drop. There we go, get rid of some. Big ones there, level five, eh? No, whoa, one that back. Come here, you. That's it. Let's get that one. Oh yeah, come on. Hey. hey. Whoa, nice one. Brilliant. Oh, with this. Oh, no, couldn't do anything with that. Ah, I'm going to die. Any second now, guys, I'm going to die. But what are you going to do, right? Not a lot. Oh, look at that. Cleared quite a few in one hit there. Yeah, right. There you go. I died. I thought that was going to happen. Yep. Oh, well. I do love that game, but it is pretty damn hard. You'd be surprised. Right, let's go into that menu, guys. Here we go. I love it that that's there now. Because it was ridiculous if you would have had to keep getting up and going resetting the machine every time. That would have just been plain silly. So that has restored my faith in this little box. It really has. So here we go. What shall we have a look at now? Uh, hmm, spoiled for choice. You really are spoiled for choice, guys. Uh, Mega Twins. Hmm. Oh, let's have a look at Mega Man, shall we? Yeah, Mega Man 3. Let's have a look at that, guys. Bloody stunner of a game. There's your controls again. A little bit about it. Dr. Willy. Huh. Oh, that music. That music. Legendary. Right, here we go. Let's play it. Of course, here we go. Yeah, we want to be him. Yeah, thank you very much. Come on, you. Oh, there seems to be a bit of a glitch there, guys. Can you see that? Hmm, it certainly does. Oh, I should be him then. There we go, we'll be him. Yeah, a bit of a glitch going on there, right in the middle of the screen, guys. Can you see it? Just underneath the uh, bar there. It's gone now, so it was just in the menu, it would seem. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, you bugger. Got me already, look. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's it. Stop it. Stop shaking at me, you sod. Oh, yeah. Oh, get off. 
I'm not doing very well here, guys. Oh, I'll get away from him. That's it, got it. Nice one. Oh, and then he gets me. Look. That's it, got it. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it's, it's Mega Man, guys, isn't it, eh? And I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Get up there, you bugger. Oh, yeah. Get up. No, no one's there for me now. So I'm a bit trapped now, aren't I? Got it. Aha, I've got it now. Oh, just as I got to that bit. Typical. Hmm. Here we go again. Get off me. Clear off. That's it, you sod. Oh, mm. and he gets you no matter what angle you go. That's it, going. Jumping business is a bit of a pain. Not too sure why it's uh, so fiddly. Yeah, that is uh, not too hot. Can't seem to get up there very easy at all. It's just getting them buttons quite right. I don't really know what's going on there. But it is not working very well. No. So that's a bit of a negative there, that it's uh, taking, flipping forever to get that to work. No, it's not having it guys. I can't seem to do it this time. That is a pain in the ass. No, not having it. Well, that's a very big negative there. Why the buttons aren't working very well. Oh, there we go. It just about did it that time. It seems to be pot luck whether you're going to get it or not. Which is not very good, is it? No, and I'm just, yeah, don't even know how I managed to get up that ladder. Oh, here we go. Here we go, shooting at me again. Get. So you've got to get him twice, and in that time, the next one's bloody got you, ain't he? Oh, so you've got no chance, have you? Right, guys, yeah, uh, not sure what's going on with the buttons there. That was extremely awkward. But we're going to quit to another game. Yeah, that might just be a case of the buttons don't work very well with that particular game, or if that's going to become a problem later on in other games, I do not know. Right, so where shall we go next? Let's have a look. Shall we have a look at hmm, John Mac? Yeah, let's have a look at the kid managers. Let's see if it's the uh, the original Japanese one, the one that was uh, yeah banned everywhere else. Let's have a look. controls again. Right, let's have a look. Winners don't use drugs. Well, there you go. Right, let's see. Is it that version? Are we going to see them whacking the women and dragging them by the hair? There's your little demo kicking in. Yeah, come on, we want to see the cutscene, don't we? Yeah, we want to see the cutscene, come on. Show us. Come on. Do it. Oh, I think it is, guys. It is. It's the original version. Banned in North America. Oh, yes, there they go. Look, they've hit them over the head and they're dragging them away. Oh, dear. <laughs> the name of the bit. <laughs> I love that at the end. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, here we go then. Give him a go whacking. Clear off. And you, sod off. Get the 
cakes, got cakes. Because of course they had um, Belgian buns and stuff back in the prehistoric times. Of course they did. I love these games, but they're very hard, guys. Look, he's going ape shit again. No, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Just too many enemies at once, guys. It's just not fair. And then the dinosaur gets peed off with it. And he's going to start attacking me in a minute as well. I'm breaking his eggs. He's not going to like that, is he? Get that. Oh, just as I was about to get that melon. Oh. Sod off. And you sort of and all. And you go and clear off. Whoa. Too many enemies. <laughs> Not fair. Here comes a little dinosaur look and I smacked him one. Now of course a big one comes to get revenge, doesn't it? Oh look the girl was there, look. Save that. There we go. Let's save her, look. Can we save her? No, not yet. Get him. Oh, the big one's coming, the big one's coming. No! <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, I've got no chance. Oh, you've got to shoot them in the mouth, of course, haven't you? Just at the right time. Yeah. That's it, like that kind of thing. Oh, he got me. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that is playing wonderful again. Absolutely wonderful. I'm just playing absolutely atrocious myself. Look, I am dead, going up to heaven as an angel. Dearie me, eh? But, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, plays like a dream on here. Right back into the menu, guys. Let's take a look at another one. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, there's so many to choose from, that's the thing. Shall we try? Yeah, let's try this, guys. Have uh, we got the two versions? Oh, Gargoyle's Quest. Um, but I'm sure that we had, yeah, Ghouls and Ghosts, the arcade version down here somewhere, didn't we? So, oh, there it is, yeah. No, no, it's just Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Right, okay, well, we'll play that one. Here we go, guys. There's your menu bits again. This is legendarily hard. We all know that Capcom game. Spawned an absolutely awesome franchise. The last game that we'll take a look at after this, I will adjust the settings and see if we can get a different aspect ratio. In fact, it makes you wonder if you can do it now. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see if you can do it in game. So, let us start again. There we go, right over here. Right, okay. Right, let's stop it a minute. Can you change the. Uh, Right, restore game, button mapping. See, that's good that you can button map, that's fantastic. Yeah, you don't have any choice here to, uh, yeah, volume. No, no, no setting here to make it full screen or anything like that. That's a shame. Yeah, return to game, right, here we've got them. My return to game, yeah, doesn't seem to be able to do it in the middle of the game. I don't know if you can set it in the main menu. I really don't know. We'll have to have a look in a minute. Here we go. So let's start game. Say, what did I say? Flipping princesses in video games are always getting effing kidnapped. Right, sorry about that cut there, guys. Um, my daughter came home from school and I had to let her in. I'm sure she wouldn't have liked to have stayed outside, that's for sure. Right, let's just quickly have a go of this thing. Right, okay, it's the usual guys with girls and ghosts as usual. 
Oh, now I'm stripped down to my underwear, and now I'm dead. That is always the funny thing with these games, guys, where uh, he loses his armour down to his underwear. That always makes me, uh, yeah. Huh. Laugh? Right, let's have another quick go. Whee, and they're all bloody from that. Die, you get. And you. Go on, you die as well, that's it. Go on, die, 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 die. Yes. Oh, get in there. Oh, got him. Yes. That's it. Oh, they got me, look. Oh, the buggers. They got me. Oh, sods. Got him. And of course, we've got to get up here quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. You bugger. Oh, kill him. Go on, that's it. Look, he's just in his boxer shorts. Come on, give him a break. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh dear. Not good. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that plays absolutely fantastic as well. Let's go back into the menu. Return to menu and have a look at... Oh, save, restore game defaults. I don't think it would be in there. No. Right, let's go into here. And see if we go down to the settings. And we select... Right, okay, here we go, right. So we have audio, 11, background music, oh, full screen, there we go, guys. And now you can see it is in the main menu settings to go to full screen. Right, that is Josh home, back in a sec. Yeah, a lot going on in my house, guys. Josh has just come home as well. Um, yeah, so you have got the choice in the actual um, menu setting to go to full screen. So let's do that now. Let's press it. It's complete. Confirm. Yeah, okay. Right, let's see what happens now when we go into another game. Let's try and play uh, Burger Time. Here we go. Let's have a look at Burger Time. An old classic there. And the last one we're going to look at, guys. We will come back to this machine, of course, numerous times in the future and have a look at more games. But this video's got to end somewhere. Right, there's your controls again. Wicked. Let's have a look. Here we go. Data East again, of course. And this is Super Burger Time. Right. Let's have a play then. Right, world one. Ooh. Of course, it does look very different like this. All right, how do we do it now? Wait. Oh, you bugger. You're going to get me, aren't you? Sods. Yeah. Get away from me. Oh, you buggers. Get up there, look. That's it. Aha, that's how you do that, is it? Right, okay. Oh, I'm completely lost here, guys. I've played this in the past. I mean, I've played the normal Burger Time more, it has to be said. And to be honest, I'm not very good at that one. So, ah, right, okay, so you just have to run over him. Okay. Ah, you bugger, go away. Oh, why do I get that then? Right, like that. Okay, oh, you soddy got me. Yeah, fantastic. I can't see that it's gone to full screen. It still has a black border each side. So I don't know if I did that wrong or something. Possible. Oh, we've got me again. Okay, that will try one more time. There we go. How do I do it then? No, not going to let me. Oh, there we go. Right. Fantastic music to this one. I'll not get up there, there we go. Is it, is it not bring it down? Just doing that? No. Okay. Aha, so you have to walk it over it a few times then, yeah? By the looks of it. That's it, just have to jump on it, guys, by the looks of it. Brilliant. Oh, you buggers. Got me again. 
I've just got to jump on it, yeah. That's it. Bring it down, yeah, there we go. Let's get up here quick. Ah, they're all coming for me now, look. Oh no! <laughs> they all got me the sods. Right, get up there to the little bit there. Alright, I'll get this one person. Nice one. Brilliant. That brings all them down, cool. We get that. Yes. Got them. Wicked. At least I achieved something there. Blimey, yeah, makes a change. Right, we'll have one more quick go. And then we'll bring it to an end. That's it, nice one. Hey, am I going to get away here or what? No, 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 they've got me. Ah, there you go, guys. Anyway, plays fantastic again, guys. Um, yeah, let's go back into the menu. What a fantastic game. So, yeah, fantastic choice of games on here. 90 of them. And, like I said, I'm sure once I've researched it a bit, you can probably load more games onto here and have god knows how many but what a fantastic choice as you saw when we went through the whole list here but we shall come back to it very very soon guys and have a look at some more games and how they play on here but i'm going to give you my final thoughts back in a sec what do you think of that then people hmm as i said it had some very negative reviews, did this beastie. Some very negative ones. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion now, guys. Um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I truly, truly do. We're looking into now putting more games onto it. Um, that would make it even more fantastic, wouldn't it? If you had some of the games that are sorely missing from here. Um, but to be fair, you get 90 stellar flip titles on here now retro bit have made other machines like one of the handhelds that uh, i reviewed here on my channel um it's uh, a fantastic handheld very well made looks like a game boy he says he should have brought it over with me and shown you it's sitting on the shelf over there um but only half of the games on there were stellar titles the rest were the usual crap that you find on a lot of these machines um so yeah, that was a mixed bag. Fantastic for the, uh, you know, your data recent, your Capcom games and what have you. But this one, guys, literally all 90 of those games are fantastic titles. They really, really are. They're fantastic titles. There's some doozies on there. There, there, there really is. And they play beautifully. The only little concern I did have was when I was playing Mega Man, obviously the button... Um, controls weren't working very well so I should have really thought about this when I was discussing that um, there's button mapping isn't there so I'm sure a shot there is a way of mapping remapping that to make it work better uh, fingers crossed he says um, because yeah I did find that a bit tedious that I was trying to jump up and I just couldn't get up there guys could I um, so yeah that was a little bit of a worry but no, it's not. It's not a worry, I'm sure. I'm sure that with the button mapping function, you can probably get around that one. As for the quality, guys, the packaging, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for packaging, guys. This is fantastic packaging. Um, beautiful, beautiful packaging, in fact. Um, you can't get any nicer. That That is fantastic packaging. Gorgeous looking. Um the quality of the unit itself is very lightweight, guys. It weighs practically maybe two, two and a half feathers. <laughs> but it's a nice little unit. It looks lovely. Again, I'll pick up the box here. As you can see there, there it is again. Um, it looks the part. A um, little bit worrying where it is so light. I think they should have put a weight in it. Um, a lot of these units, you know, they put like a metal weight inside just to keep it into your TV unit. Because I reckon if someone pulled the cord a bit too bloody quick, the thing will fly off, off won't it? So, yeah, it is very light, lightweight, guys, and you're going to have to really be careful you don't yank it off the unit. Um, the controllers. Now, they got the worst stick out of all 
of the with the reviews of this unit of the reviews saying that they're absolutely dire awful 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 um i don't think they are personally i mean i've only been playing with it five minutes in a sense uh maybe i'll feel differently after playing some more games because obviously there's going to be multiple uh parts to this where i'm going to go back on it and look at more games and um, but i like them i actually like them and they remind me very very much in the quality of sega saturn controllers uh sega saturn controllers were always light as a feather he says turning around here and grabbing one they are as light as a flipping feather and uh yeah they don't feel the best quality do they they really don't they feel quite crap but they're not they are by far not they are bloody good by far one of my favorite controllers and uh yeah no reflection in that and listen they don't even sound very good do they but they are brilliant and that is what i'm getting um from this as well i'm getting that from this as well uh they are very lightweight again they probably wear a feather and a bit slightly uh <laughs> slightly uh yeah less heft to them shall we say than the unit um so yeah about a feather and a half um i like it that they've got shoulder buttons on there the cord is extremely long again it reminds me of the saturn guys the bloody length of the saturn controller uh, cable that is again it reminisces me of that um so yeah as far as i'm concerned i like the controller just a bit worried about that uh, the old button thing on on their uh, mega man guys um let's see how that pans out in the end <coughs> he says i'm a good cop let's see how that pans out uh, hopefully i won't come across any more snags on other games but um yeah lovely as for the uh some people call it the emulation um i find it good what i've played so far i find it pretty stellar there was only that one little glitch wasn't there that little graphical glitch that we came across again on the Mega Man game and uh, i do believe it was a Mega Man game um yeah apart from that guys i've had no issues yet josh has had a good go on it since he's been in from school and he hasn't found any issues either the only thing he didn't like was on the menu you know when you get to the bottom of the, uh, the list of games it has like this blue sort of like glow to it and it makes it difficult to see what the actual names of the games are because this blue glow makes it a little bit more difficult to see but other than that he loves it as well he thinks it's fine um yeah i, I can't you know i can only be honest guys um i like this i know there's a hell of a lot of people out there that hate it but i like it and i'll tell you what i think it's worth the uh, 59.99 british pounds i really do i think it's worth it I think it's a gorgeous little thing. Yeah, it does have its pitfalls, yeah, obviously, about being lightweight and, you know, a bit of a worry about the button thing. Um, but up to now, it's two thumbs up from me. I, I think it's a, a, a fantastic product. I really do. I like it. And I came into this very hesitant, guys, because I'd seen all the reviews. But I'm one of those people who I will not set judgment on anything unless I've tried it myself. And now I have, and I have a completely different opinion. So... That opinion could uh, change a little bit over time as we take a look at more games. I don't know. But what I have played of it is fantastic and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, do I love it as much as the Evercade? No, of course not. Um, the Evercade for me is still um, oh, just 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 fantastic. Um, because, yeah, you're getting some of the games here, aren't you? Like the Data East games and what have you on here. Um, but the Evercade, of course, you can buy more cartridges and add them. Now, I may change my mind and have them on a more equal pedestal if it works out with the memory card slot, guys, and we can add more games to it, you know, a lot more games to it. But, no, you know, even thinking in that terms, even if I could do that, um, the Evercade is still going to win, guys, just for the pure and simple fact that it's flipping gorgeous, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It plays retro games. It plays indie games oh my god and then the packaging that comes with the cartridges and things like that fantastic that you have these old clamshell type you know 
Mega Drive and what have you games, uh, Master System games, you know, oh, and then it cut manuals in there and things like that. It's always going to win for me, I'm afraid. So I don't even know why I even attempted to say they might come equal. No. Plus the Evercade is a portable. You can take it wherever you want with you. And it's just flipping gorgeous. But I do like it. I like it a lot. And that is my humble opinion. I know I'm probably going to get uh, people in the comments saying, no, well, I've got it and I think it's crap. I think it depends on who you are as well, you know. Um, that has a lot to do with it. Do you have any nostalgia for this? You know what I mean? Um, that is one of the key things. I think it's a fantastic thing. I hope we can add more games to it. That would make it even more fantastic. But that was my honest... Well, it started off as a pickups video. One item. Then it went to an unboxing. Then it went to a play on, and then it went to, um, yeah, me just being very honest about it, guys. You know, um, you know, what else can I be? I, I love it. That's all I can say. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is my view on the Retrocade. By the, by the, <laughs> here we go. Mucking things up again, guys. Yeah, the ret Super Retrocade. I've got to remember that. It's the Super Retrocade, because there was already a Retrocade, as I said. Uh, by retro bit guys so yeah i think it was uh you know it's worth your 60 quid guys if you fancy grabbing one they are in stock at the moment certainly in my local argos and in smith's toys so you can pick one up but i'd be quick because i think they're going to sell out before christmas so yeah get in there quick while you can guys and with that i'm going to love you and leave and say the usuals guys if you're not subbed already please think about dropping me a sub Give me a thumbs up. Obviously tap the bell icon to get informed of any up and coming videos. And the all icon to make sure you get informed of up and coming videos. And with that, I'm going to see our videos in. Tschüss. And goodbye guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.